Oh, I need to unplug this. Bleh. I don't need this on anymore. Eh. Unless I'm going to play X-Wing, start playing Star Wars shooter, shooter games. I never like the simulator shooter games. Good. Oh, Elsa over. Oh, Elsa over. Okay, give me a second to put this joystick away and then I'll... Elsa, hey. Elsa, Elsa. Go over here, Elsa. Hello, Elsa. Hello, Mwah. Hello, what you doing? What you doing? Missing? Trying to lick what you missed? You missed! You missed! No, you can't go anywhere. I might keep you here. I might keep you here forever. You don't get to go nowhere. Yes, there she is already. Just a dumb one. No, I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let you go. Like a big doggo. Not yet. I know. I know. You want more. This is what you get. This is what you get. This is what you get. So you have a lot of fur? Are you aware of this? Oh, no, rope. No, rope. No, the rope. The rope. It's rope time now. Now it's rope time. It's rope time. Can't rope time. Rope time doesn't work. They're not even pay for rope time. They're not even pay for rope time. They're not pay for rope time. Okay. Ugh. All right. So, um, I guess I could throw up like a Old, but I kind of have some ideas of things that I kind of want to do. I could get back to Golden Sun and do the, but the thing is, is if we do Golden Sun, we have to skip through portions of the intro again. We have to play through some of the intro again. And oh, I did need to try to figure out what the hell was going on with my SNES Classic too, huh? I should. Okay, what we're gonna do? What I'm gonna do here? Is I'm gonna throw out a, I'm gonna throw out a small poll to go. Not gonna have a whole lot of options on it, but it's gonna be a small poll. Well, I, I guess I say not a whole lot, and then it might. Holy crap! Freaking chair, get on the plastic. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a poll for what might be a decent idea. Um. And uh, Golden Sun reloaded. The reloaded, by the way, is just the uh, the the uh, patch for. Um, I guess we could just play Silent Hill three all day. This is another option. Um, see, I don't know that I want to go back to Soul Hackers right now, so I'm not even gonna put that on there. Um. Let's just do just another retro option. Just, just some more retro games. Retro games. Um, and I'll just play retro games. I could, I don't know what, play something off the SNES or NES or Sega. Maybe off the Sega. I don't know. Just play something. Let's only do this for like five minutes because it shouldn't take me much more than five minutes. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to to deal with this this classic having problems this was having problems yesterday which did not make me excited seems like it's been having issues <laughs> shutting down hey no woofing but she got something real to woof at over there i don't want to hear it i know you don't and that's part of the problem doggo that I know you have nothing real to woof at. Let's put my own golden sun here, but I'm gonna try to fix this. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can 
do something about this problem that it's having. It started having issues yesterday, and that is very scary. Not good. So. First off, these two don't need to go on there. That's first and foremost. Pages split games equally? How did pages work? Okay, let's see what that is. Um, and then... Yeah, there's a poll going right now for anybody who's just arriving, in case you didn't know. You can take a look. Um, I'm working on trying to get the SNES Classic kind of like did and fixed. Because it started giving me some weird errors yesterday, and I'm not sure what to make of that. So I'm thinking I want to try to do... I want to flash the custom kernel. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to just reflash it. Cuz something went wrong and I think it was because it failed to shut down properly when I was done with this yesterday and I had to like I I had to end it up, ended up unplugging it. And I don't think that was good. It's bad. I'm going to try a reflash a reflash. Okay, that's all going properly. So I think we're I think we're looking I think we're looking good here so far. Okay. <clears throat> Let's make sure that all the games that I want to have loaded on there are here. Um, I think to cut back on some room, I'm unlikely to play the Mega Man Zero games on this console. Um, I have those on the PS4. Um, if I'm going to play them, it's probably going to be those editions, not the GBA versions off of this. Um, I'm also going to cut the Mega Man Battle Network game off. I just don't see the reason for me to put that on here. Um, this isn't like saving us a ton of room, but it it's like, you know, those aren't the hugest games to take off of here. They're only like three megabytes a piece. Um, but again, every little bit can count. Um, the Pokemon games are the really are, are really big. Uh, they're like eight megabytes a piece. They're pretty big. Um, but I don't really mind leaving them on there on there. We're we're looking at <clears throat> a decent amount of space left still, so it should be okay. It's really not actually all that all that overwhelmed with stuff right now. Um <laughs> I guess we could play Star Trek Starfleet Academy again, the SNES version. <laughs> but no, we'll play we'll play some Golden Sun here. Um as soon as I synchronize this list. You know, right now. <laughs> because if I don't synchronize it, we won't have any games because I just flashed the kernel. <laughs> so that would be bad. <laughs> um, I think it probably has the mod. I need to make sure it still has the module. Um, otherwise we won't be able to play Game Boy. Okay, it looks like it still does. I will double check though by going to the Game Boy games and making sure that if I select emulation core, they're on the Game Boy Advance core. Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, 
No? No, it's it's not. It needs to be on MGBA. And then I wonder if that is possibly what was going wrong with it yesterday. I didn't assign the core to this. So maybe these two games were trying to launch without an emulation core, and that was just really fucking them up. That might be what was going wrong with it yesterday. It's possible. Okay. Um, I will do one more sync just to make sure that that information gets transferred over properly. And then... Uh... Okay, good. Turn this off. Hopefully this will actually turn off correctly on its own. Yep, okay, everything is fine. Okay, shut itself down. I think I think the mini is working again. I think that it was just software problem and a reflash has fixed everything and we are looking good. I think I think that's I think it's the truth. I'm gonna go replug her in and we'll do this. Software is software. Okie dokie. So the thing that I have to apologize for, for anybody who's on the future in YouTube, who's already watched, and for the people who are about to be here to watch it again, um, is that now that we're on the reloaded version, I'm still going to call this number two, because it is technically going to be the second part. We are going to have to do a little bit of replaying. Um, not much I could say or do about it. We just are going to have to do a little bit of replaying. Um, this is technically my first replay of or my first playthrough of Golden Sun Reloaded, but I don't want people to think that this is my first playthrough of Golden Sun. So I'm not going to type put this as a first playthrough. It's just the first time I've done Reloaded because I don't I've never played this version before. But I don't want people to be like, oh, is this the first time he's ever played Golden Sun? <laughs> Let's watch that. Like, I don't, that that's misleading. So I don't want to deal with people being like, you never played this before? <laughs> like, no, I, I have. Thank you. <laughs> oh. So the Earthbound introduction. Let's go over to just the game. Let's get rid of stubborn games, which is what I called the the thing for that. Okay, I can turn that down. Can probably play with my headset. It should be all right. Yeah, the audio isn't really isn't really uh, echoing for me at all. It's so I, I think I think I should be all right here. Bing. Actually, kind of loud. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> if there were uh, any headset users there, I have apologies for you. It was really loud. <laughs> that was that was bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, jeez. Okay. All right. So I have the I have the speed set to. It's a fast. We're gonna be trying to quote unquote speed run through the first, the rest of this introduction. This is where I'm at. We're talking to these guys. 
Um, yeah, I'll do I'll do this as fast as this game goes. The thing about this game's cutscenes is that it, it has a lot of moments where the characters aren't just talking, where there's like you know they're being like oh huh what huh Ooh. they have like emotions and all the emotion stuff and all the all that stuff goes on so. You have to kind of wait for all that stuff to happen, regardless of how fast you can match through the text in this game. And there's a few points where it almost seems like the characters are just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> but I'm going to be mashing the B button, which means that we'll say no to everything, just like we did before. <laughs> We will just continuously be the no man. But I haven't I haven't gone and done any YouTube posts in a little bit, so I'll need to do that sometime today probably. I have a bunch of highlighting to do for um, Star Trek Star Trek Starfleet Academy too to post all that i need to highlight the the first replay episode i don't think i want to post the whole replay to youtube i think i want to just do the highlights of the missions that are a little different and just call those like extra episodes and then do the final episode So I'm going to do a little bit of actual video editing, except not really, because I'm just making highlights off of VODs. So it's not really video editing. <laughs> <coughs> it's as close as I come, though. I don't video edit. Oh, I guess it was the second jar that had the elixir. So supposedly this version of the game is in fact harder um, because all of the balancing that they've done has just made the game more difficult in general. And they made a lot of the monsters more powerful too so that it's just, the game is just straight up harder than it was before. Um, which I am super down for because one of my only complaints with this game is that I think that if you like fight every battle, like you kind of want to in JRPGs a lot of time. And by want to, I mean you want to because it's fun. Um, this game is always kind of easy. Uh, it's, it's not really all that challenging of a, of a uh, JRPG overall. Um, I mean, it is if you're not, you know, if you're young and you're not good at JRPGs at all, but it also has new spells, new equipment. Um, there's some items that replace certain other items. He has no synergy of any kind. Wow. Garrett starts with no synergy? Flare only takes two PP? Yeah, things are different, all right. Garrett has no synergy. Whoa. Really? He only has move. Wow. Um, one of the other things that they've massively changed, in the original game, you did not gain luck when you leveled up. Ever. Ever. You never gained luck when you leveled up. Um, luck is, and luck is tied directly to uh, 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 many things, like your ability to resist instant death. Um, they have changed that. The stats will all grow at different rates and uh, characters do now gain luck when they level up. Which is the reason I have to restart is because I was already level four and that my stats would be all wrong for the uh, the new version. Uh, the treasure chest is in the middle, right? Yes. Do, do. They also changed a lot of translation stuff. Um, some of the things that we just did blatantly wrong and um, 
some of the things that we didn't necessarily do wrong, but the Japanese version is either better or more, or just more correct to what it is. Um, we, we have instead. Uh, but one of the ones we did blatantly wrong is that we called all of the breath spells in the game um, blessings. So, like, whenever you got breathed on by a dragon, instead of it being fire breath, it would be fire blessing. <laughs> Which I never really thought about <laughs> until I read it on their, on their fixes. Um, so instead of dragons blessing us with their wonderful breath, <laughs> They will instead breathe on us, uh, and it will be it will be better in that regard. Um, but some of the things that might kind of make people a little like, eh, I don't know if I like that. I liked the old name. Is uh, one of the big ones is Megaido. Megaido is no longer called Megaido. Uh, it is called Armageddon because that's what it was before. Is Armageddon. Um, a lot of the unleashes on weapons have been weakened. Um, though not all of them, a lot of them are still really good, but a lot of them have been weakened some, uh, to make up for the fact that, honestly, a lot of spells lost their power when you started having really powerful unleashes, and it started not making any sense to ever use your spells. Um, that has been changed. Uh, spells are, spells are now quite a bit better, um, than they were before. That was just a wrong way, wasn't it? I believe it was. Yeah, and I mean... Oh god, that's a lot of enemies. It's not... Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Garrett, you're getting beat up. Okay. Ragnarok is no longer as good anymore, either. Um, well, maybe it's better. I'm not sure. I don't know. I assume it's 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 still good. Uh, a lot of new spells have been added, though. Um, they've added some new weapons, even too. Um, you now have uh, wind has a single target attack, which it didn't used to before. Um, you have a single target spell with wind. I don't know if these attacks are going to have new animations or if they're just going to use ones that are already in the game. I assume they'll just use ones that are already in the game, but... Man, there's a lot of combat in this place, isn't there? I keep thinking he can use flare, and he can't. I learned Quake. Nice. Wow. Stop. <laughs> no synergy. None. No synergy. Yeah, Ragnarok is one of my favorite moves in the game, too, though, to be honest. Yeah, he gained no... He didn't get any spells. He's still just spellless. It's a spellless fool. I haven't uh, tied it yet, have I? Wrong one. What? Where is it? What? What? Is that later or something? No. over here and I'm just dumb. Literally the last one I move because I'm dumb.
Do anything you say, Creighton. Except I'm gonna do it anyways, so. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, you know what I just realized? One moment. Um, well, not really one moment, but. Something I just realized that doesn't look like it's on, so ignore this. I'm clearly not on an emulator. Obviously not emulating game. Okay, that's right. Um, clearly this is not an emulation. Obviously not emulating video game. Okay. It'll look better now, trust me. It's going to look a lot less jagged now. Everything's going to look quite a bit better. This is the best filter I've tried. I haven't tried all of them, but this is the best one I've tried. For all you doubters out there, I do absolutely own this game quite a bit, so don't worry. The main reason I'm playing it on emulation is A, it's easier to play on my by having it on the on my SNES Classic like this, and B, um, I'll be able to transfer the save file a little bit easier. Because I'll be able to get the password without having to write it all down. I won't have to write the password down. I'll do, or take pictures of it on the screen or anything like that. I'll just be able to use this little program to get the save, to get the password out of the save file, and then I'll be able to have it that way. And then that way, when we, I, I don't have, they still don't have anything that like allows you to like inject the password into Golden Sun Lost Age. So we'll still have to input the password, letter for letter. But I'll have a text on a computer that I that is quickly generated from my save file to do it with. So it'll be a hell of a lot easier. The main reason that you end up getting the password wrong a lot of the time is because you wrote it down. And when you wrote it down, you either wrote down something wrong or something... <clears throat> you wrote down one letter to look like a little bit too much like a different letter. And, you know, one of those things where... And that is that a one or an I? You know, and you're not actually sure which one it is. So, we're a long ways from that mattering. I mean, <clears throat> especially since I'm going to play this very casually. Uh, we're not going to get to Lost Age until, I don't know, probably 18, 18 to 20 hours, something along those lines. Um, the first game isn't super long, um, but I am going to play it pretty casually. So, I do know what I'm doing, so even casually I'll be able to get through the game faster than someone else might, but I'm going to read all the text is the big change. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but that's because we already did this. <laughs> 
This game's intro is long, so I'm trying to get through it as fast as I can so that we're not all bored watching all this text again. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of replaying things that I just did recently. It's kind of fun. It's one of those things where you just should do your research, I guess. But I don't like researching games that I don't, uh, not sure I've ever beaten before, which is why Starfleet Academy ended up the way it did. Which, while I've definitely beaten Starfleet Academy before, I had definitely never done the final mission before. Definitely not. No. better at drinking. I'm just saying. <laughs> I keep choking on water and stuff I'm drinking recently. It's been going on for like a month or two. Just keep choking on drinks. It's not good for your health. At the point where I have to say yes. <laughs> this introduction is one of the reasons why I would definitely never, ever, ever speedrun this game. Because this introduction would would kill me to have to mash through it every time that I speed run. We can't go to Mars yet. What am I doing? Going the wrong way is what I'm doing.
Oh no! Oh, I did find that you can actually find Felix in the town before you come here. He's in the inn. He's upstairs in the inn. He doesn't really have anything to say. If you talk to him, he's just like, do you have any business with me? You can either say yes or no. If you say no, he's just like, good, go away. If you say yes, he's like, well, I don't have any business with you. Go away. And that's it. <laughs> Boom. Ba 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 Garrett, why you go give stars? It's so bad of you. Go. Got the last star, now the whole thing can blow up. Don't push my sister. Don't you dare push her. Go, Craden, go. Craden, you're holding everybody up. It's actually not true. I guess the turtle goes first. 
Tartarus. It is a pity. Oh gosh, this cutscene is so long. Even if you skip it through it, it's long. This one is really long. It is. It's good. It's a good cutscene. I don't, I don't mind it when I'm playing the game like, with casual intentions. But if I, that's what I was saying about like how why I would never speedrun this game is because like holy moly, this cutscene is so long. If you're just like. I just want to play the game, go! Then, oh my gosh. We're in big trouble. Nope. <laughs> sure aren't. <clears throat> I'm a big rock with an eye. Nice. Thanks, big rock with an eye. knows what he just did to the star, but he did some. Can't keep up. It's too many. We got teleported. Hooray. Just can you just retreat? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can. <laughs> cool. Right back to pushing to mashing cutscenes again. the sanctum. In we go. Alright. Oh no. It's still exploding. And now we get to tell them all about our story again. Oh my gosh. There were these evil guys. They wanted us to the stars. We got the stars. And then we gave them the other three. But we still have this one. And it was scary and we had to go get them. 
And once we, the, the Felix was there and he was like, I'm gonna make you get to stars. And we got him and it was weird. And now, then everything started exploding and we were like, what? And then we got out with a quick cast of retreat, which Isaac thought was a good idea. And that was really quick. And then we walked over here and we told you all about it. My God. No, I don't think they can be saved. <laughs> Do you think you could save them? Absolutely not. wobble that they do before they talk or when they're just reacting to something the this this company camelot uh they actually made an rpg before this on the ps1 called beyond the beyond um it's it's actually very challenging it's a very challenging jrpg um but it's a lot like uh dragon quest um but their little pulsing thing that they do and the way that they do their cutscenes, this it all started in beyond the beyond um, Beyond the Beyond has all of this in it. Um, except for that the sprites are not actually as good. The sprites are a little smaller, and they're not as detailed as these ones are. Um, but all of the, like, the wobbles, like the little pulsing that they do, and all that stuff that all started in Beyond the Beyond. Um, if you haven't pe played Beyond the Beyond, I would suggest giving it a try if you like, uh, Dragon Quest or just kind of like JRPG stuff in general. It's a very interesting game. It's pretty good, but it's very hard. Um, so expect a, expect a challenge. But if you like challenge and, uh, and you like JRPGs and, and both those things go well together for you, then uh, I would say you should uh, definitely give it a try. I finally beat it a few years ago. I had never beaten it before. <laughs> and I finally put in the time and effort to, to actually do it. It's, it's, it's a tough one. One of the harder JRPGs on PS1 that I've played. It's up there with Lagaya. Legend of Lagaya is pretty darn hard too. I always thought Legend of the Gaia was a tough was a tough one. It's got some Legend of the Gaia has definitely has some boss fights that are just like What? <laughs> what do we do here? <laughs> that one might just be me though. But I do think it I think that was a pretty tough game. children out. When should they go? Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. This scene is maybe a little slow right here. It's kind of charming if you like let it play out and you kind of pay attention to it. It's a little charming. This is a couple kids just being kind of slow. Okay. 
the girl's just like looking around. And it's kind of like, what? Like, it feels kind of natural and it like shows like life going on, but it doesn't really like add anything, right? It's kind of just like a really slow scene that doesn't really do anything. You could have just started here and it would have had the same effect, you know? But. Shrug. Uh, is that a text message or a Discord? Looks like it was probably Discord. Something else along the line, those lines. <sighs> All right, you think you're ready, you think you get to go, and then you don't. You have to sit here and watch this freaking tutorial. No. 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 You can't make it go faster. It's just slow as fuck, no matter what you do. Gives him growth. May very well be worth doing just so that he gets growth. That way he can do more than just hit monster with sword. Okay, good. If you say no to did you get all that, you can say no again and he won't explain it all again. I was bashing B, like, in, like, habit, basically. Okay, so I fixed the... Remember how at least you used to, like, shake? I fixed that. It doesn't... That doesn't happen. Oh my god! We gotta go! Man, 
turned off, they go to Lumpa. And we're like, oh, well, I don't know. In we go. Did I not? Okay, I did. I just didn't get trapped with busts. Okay, well, I need a, I need a trap bust. We have to say yes for that, otherwise we can't continue on. Alright. If I recall correctly, you don't have to do a darn thing in this town other than go straight here, come up here, and then these guys will be acting suspicious, and you can start doing the minigame thing with them. You only have to surround one of them, so... It's them, alright. Cannot be done. <laughs> what really comes down to it, he'll help. It's just the way he is. <laughs> just like, damn it. <laughs> right. Time for the hard fight. Especially since I'm like, I think I'm even lower level than I was last time. I'm like only level two. Ivan's level four. He's a bolt user. <laughs> I don't remember bolt being a bolt user being a class. Bolt. He doesn't start with whirlwind anymore. Wait, what? Well then, how would I move on with the game? He needs Whirlwind. Without Whirlwind, he wouldn't... How would I be able to move on with the game? Does he get Whirlwind at level 5? He just hits people with crossbow bolts. <laughs> like, just, 
just punching people across people. Stakes them just stabbing. <laughs> I'm confused though, because you need Whirlwind to move on with the video game. Like, without Whirlwind, you can't get through the pass. It's all blocked off. I don't know. Like, maybe he, like, will gain level 5 from this fight, and it'll... He'll, and he'll get Whirlwind at level 5, even as a Bolt user. Or do I have to give him the, the Wind Gin, and that gives him a class that has Whirlwind? Or the Earth Gin, rather. Not the Wind Gin, the Earth Gin. Usually, that gives him growth. I believe. That's really bad, actually. Yeah, just, just, just hopefully you'll hit. No, not the one I'm trying to kill. Damn it. Glad I used the second herb. He should be all right. Okay. One of the other things this game's combat system does really well that a lot of other combat systems don't let you do is you can target things on enemies planning ahead. Right? So like, for example, in a lot of games where you plan out your entire round, a lot of JRPGs won't let you do, um, if you have someone who's dead, um, a lot of JRPGs won't let you use curing on them. They won't let you use like uh, MP recovering items or status recovery items or anything, right? Because they're dead. So it's like, you can't target them with any of that. They're not even a, a valid target unless you revive them. This game will let you plan that ahead though such that it's like, okay, I'm going to revive them. And then the moment they're revived, I want you who should go next to use a, a further cure on them. So that they come back and then they're cured, right? It's just, a, it's an interesting thing about this game that a lot of JRPGs don't let you do that this one, this one does. I think I actually have an elixir here. It's, it's, it's cool. Cause I like, th I like that this game allows you to plan ahead like that. Like I said, a lot of JRPGs don't. Let's just use both. On the off side, though, I plan on Garrett attacking that target. That target's no longer alive, so Garrett just defends. I'm trying to get the, the special kill on this guy. 
damn. Ah, oh, damn. Oh well, Isaac got 80 experience points. Garrett didn't get shit. <laughs> Again, I, I mentioned it before. If you kill an enemy that's weak to a certain element with a gin of that element, you get double. I don't think it's double, but you get more experience and a higher drop rate as well. But I was trying to get extra experience because I'm a little under leveled. And I knew that he had to be close. But I didn't have a way to cure Garrett and go for the flint kill at the same time. So I just went for the flint kill because he was faster than me. And he was either going to kill Garrett or not. It didn't really matter if I was trying to heal him. The only person faster was Ivan. I probably should have just killed him with... Ray or Bolt either would have done enough. But oh well. Garrett's a little behind Ivan or Isaac now. And will pretty much be cemented as my lowest level party member, most likely. Because I suspect that I will get Mia before I don't know I don't know if I want to do early Mia or not early getting getting her early is hard it's hard normally so getting her getting her early in the rebalance might be like really hard I'm not sure Gotta go get Garrett revived. I'm kind of curious if I'm still gonna be able to learn uh, revive at level 15, or if I'm gonna be reliant on items for items and uh, ends longer than that. Kind of feel like I should go get that nut. We can use the experience anyways, actually. Let's let's go back and get the get the nut in the first sound. And there's the one up in the other town. Let's go get both the nuts. 
This slime does not want to die. Holy moly. <laughs> Should also probably buy Garrett a longsword if I can afford it, which I actually can't. <laughs> now that I think about it. Oh, it's stronger too. Oh, well. Just one enemy at a time. It's good because we suck. <laughs> Actually, I can buy him an axe and bolt, can't I? I should, yeah, I should buy him the axe and bolt. Even if it means selling one of the nuts, it's probably a better idea. Nuts this way. Or this way. Also, I need to. Oh, uh, right, I have the ban. Oh, the bandit sword's better than a long sword now. And it gives defense and agility? Whoa! Bandit sword got buffed. Bandit sword got buffed. Nice. Got a nut. Nuts, I assume, still give uh, 200 HP. Yeah. For a very long time, nuts are really good healing items. It, it takes quite some time before a nut isn't worth using anymore. I've also used a few herbs though, huh? He doesn't have any herbs. Uh, here, I have three of my herbs. His, uh, he has cure, so... Matter of fact, actually, he has cure. Have all the herbs. Oh, no rapid smash. Oh, maybe. Nope, no rapid smash. Level four, earthquake. Garrett, do you want to gain level three? By chance? 17 more experience. He's so far behind. That 80 was so much. Oh god, poor Garrett. He got really fucked on that. Three guard. Learn the master of the guards blast. Cool, he learns blast instead. That's that's a good change, actually. Blast instead of guard. That's that's a good change. I like that. Or instead of flare. Because he used to get flare and flare wall and all those. 
But now he gets Blast instead. The Blast line is a better... It's a better line for the guard. Final Blast! <laughs> Finishing Strike! Oh, man. Brings me back to... Brings me back. Brings me back. I sell his, well, his short sword. Yeah, I'll, I should only have to sell a short sword, actually. I should be able to buy the axe. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a fine choice, but you don't have enough money. He wants it. <laughs> ourselves a battle axe. growth over here. Whoosh. Whoosh. Move. Yeah, so you need whirlwind here. You can't do shit. And then Ivan shows up, like, as part of the story to cast whirlwind. But he won't have whirlwind! <laughs> <laughs> or he learns it here magically yeah maybe i did it great Get to Bilbin through this cave? Yep, sure I am. Um, Ivan? Um. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's what they expect you to do there. To to do this then. Just give him make him into a seer. And then he has roll. Blast. Whirlwind and cure. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac's prey was caught by a surprise. All right, we're actually to new content now, so I'm gonna stop skipping through everything at this point. Rumble. Oof. Oof. That was uh, quite painful. Okay, good. He's not using the wooden stick. That was my my major concern there. Dun, 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 dun. Jeez. 
should probably heal. Just to make sure that the game doesn't be like, by the way, this is really hard now, you're all dead. <laughs> That's not enough, huh? Wow. Ow! That also hurt quite a bit. Please stop. Unleash Venus! Okay, Garrett can take it. That's fine. You're still alive. They have, uh, skeletons have quite a bit more health. Just one skeleton. One skeleton again. Really likes that. I don't. Not a fan of you and your fucking bullshit. Defend. I am. Nice. 14 experience instead of 10. So yeah, it's not a you don't get a ton more when you when you unleash to kill. It's not double. I think I might have mistakenly at one point said it was double, and it is, it is not. Got a lucky metal! Oh, I didn't go back for the the power bread outside the cave though. I probably should do that. It's probably more important than ever that I give Ivan his extra hit points. So I probably should leave. Oh boy. It's a lot of zombies. I'm a run. And I'm gonna go do what I'm saying about doing before I forget to do it. What I've done should stay done, I believe, in that dungeon. I don't think I'll have to, like, resolve the, the puzzle stuff. I think we're good. Bone chiller? Ow. Ow. Stop it. Why no escape? Escape. Escape. Thanks. I want to get to the back to the first town. That's what I want. I want to run back to Vale. Kill Garrett. He's, he's good. Watch that not be enough, though. Okay, it was. Level 5 bolt user, huh? Noise. Alright, uh, let's take the, the free healing up that we can do here. Nice. And then it's back here. Right. Game 
was saved. I think that was more than last time. Seven. I don't think he got seven last time. Wow, self is like on par with ours now. Nice. Okay, well, his health is on par when he's... Okay. He only went down to 71. I was say, I forgot that his health was on par when he had Flint. <laughs> Which, Earth... I think Earth classes have more health in general than other classes. Cool. We attacked first. Free run. We're already good on levels for this this area. I don't need to see the enemies are running from me. Like we're fine. Level four. Luck rises by one. You got a point of luck. That's pretty good, dude. I don't want it. I don't want that outside fight. HP, eh? Maybe you could not do that. Ow. Wow. Got him. Got him. Is it still falling down? Nope! Goody. Do have to redo that. Thirty-six earthquake. Twenty-eight, thirty, twenty-six, twenty-two. Ow! Blast! Vermin runs, but there's no escape. There's no escape for you, Vermin. I should heal. <laughs> Level 5 Squire. Learn the Squire's Spire. <laughs> nice. We mastered the Squire's Spire. I'm actually really glad I came back now. If I hadn't done, if I had gotten here and hadn't done this, I would have been very upset. Did you see something strange over there? I fought it, but it fled. When I returned, I saw it again. I wonder if it likes this place. Yay! 
Yay, dead zombies. All right. Yeah, if I had continued on, I would have been like, ugh. <laughs> I would have realized I couldn't get the freaking fire gin and been very upset with myself. Ivan likes not dying, so maybe you just don't do that anymore, okay? Okay. Wow, Spire takes six PP. Is it actually like really good? Bolt! Spire! Yeah, actually, that's quite high damage. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Bye! Dungeon crawling in this game is so good. It's just, the dungeons are so interesting. You've got all this stuff you have to do in them. Even the really basic ones at the beginning of the game are fun. Have cool stuff going on. We only got one strike out of the rapid smash. Please don't run from me. God. Ow! Ow! Holy crap! Please don't kill me! <laughs> Like, seriously, please don't kill me. Oh boy. Okay, I didn't hit Isaac, but oh my god, okay. A what? That's a new item. Mars Gin Forge joined the party. I guess they're Ginny. I guess there's an extra eye. I didn't realize that. You got it? Wow, that's pretty impressive. Keep your eyes peeled for others like you. I'm out of here. Okay. Boost the party the bleh, boost the party attack with Flame's Fury. If I set this, you become a disciple and you lose Bolt. That seems like a bad idea. You become a brute, so you gain growth and blast. All right. Not a fan. I don't want to use brutes right now. Maybe later in the game we could use a brute, but for now, I'm not going to. What is this mountain water? Replenishes 20 PP. You know, I like that. I'm actually a pretty big fan of that, to be honest. There was never... Were there any items in this game that restored PP other than Psy Crystals? Which are full? I don't think so. <laughs> I 
19 experience points. I think this one stays permanently moved. So that you can just go through the cave really fast. Alright. We've made it through our first cavern. Not big, not hard. Way harder than I remember, but it's a tree, but it almost looks like a man. It looks like a living person. Help me, somebody. Did you see the tree at the entrance? Nope. I can't believe you missed the tree. You should look around some more. <laughs> we ended up like this because of Lady McCoy's foolishness. If only she hadn't wanted to live like a queen. Isaac checked the jar. Isaac got five coins. Nice. <laughs> the snow is already piling up at Immel. The weather's freezing. If I were you, I'd wait until spring to go there. When spring comes, I want to go see that angelic meal again. We rarely see any snow around Bilbin. It might be difficult to live in a snowy town. Oh, what? What do you have to say there? I think I'll just stay here. I want to do something real fast. Now that I'm reading everything again, I'm going to lower the message speed down again. I don't need it to be fast now that I'm actually under reading. You guys are so unlucky arriving in Bilbin at such a scary time. Welcome to Bilbin! Please just ignore that strange tree out front. <laughs> Many brave warriors have been sent to Kalima. Travelers needn't worry. What? Isaac got an antidote! A tree at the entrance is really a man cursed by the sacred tree. It's all because McCoy, the lord of this town, cut down all those trees. This is all Lord McCoy's fault, but we can't say anything. I keep doing that. He is our leader, after all. Lord McCoy had the trees cut down so he could build his wife a grand palace. Ah, oh, Lady McCoy. I would, I would just love to be her. Will I ever live in a lovely palace? Uh, probably not. Something changed in the eruption. Now all sorts of strange creatures look in every forest and mountain. That explosion must have been a sign of some big disaster. I'm scared. I just want to check this pot, dude. I don't want to talk to you. I just wanted to check the pot. Fine. Fuck you. I won't check the pot. I just checked the barrel, but didn't find anything. Uh. You hear a sound? Did you hear a sound? You heard it, right? No. Oh, it's been so long since I ordered. My stomach's rumbling. Where's my dinner? We came here because Lord McCoy was building his wife a palace. I wonder if they stopped because of the curse. Start cooking already! I'm really worried about Kalima. I was born there, you know. I can't even focus on my cooking. Hey, Mr. Head Chef! Are you gonna cook or not? Customers are waiting! <laughs> I can't wait to see today's special! Yippee! <laughs> Do you believe a tree spirit can curse a man? No. Really? Then go see Lord McCoy and listen to his story. I think that big tree deep in the forest looks suspicious. No, you can't reach Kalima no matter how hard you try. What? Why? Welcome to our inn. 21 coins for a room. Would you like to stay? Please come again. Actually, really probably should. We have, like, you know, BP left. Alright. Do, do, do. I hope you slept well. Have a nice trip. Thanks, Tori. There's a tower in the tip of, at the tip of Immel. 
that people say was built by the gods. Everyone there calls it a calls it the lighthouse. Oh! Ah! Ever since that man turned into a tree, everyone's been too scared to go near the town's entrance. He begged for help as he turned into a tree, but no one would help him. Is that how all grown-ups are? Is it true that the that a mountain exploded on the other side of Goma? The sky was a brilliant red that day. It was a beautiful sight. I want to see that pretty sky again. McCoy's Hidden Warehouse. Do not enter. Lord McCoy had been quite frightened since the incident. Everyone, everyone gets worried when the town leaders get scared. I wonder if we can still rely on Lord McCoy. Uh, maybe? I need to get up there. We'll go around this way. Do, do, do. See, they really intended on you ha having Whirlwind. Not having Whirlwind really changes stuff quite a bit. This one just going zero. I don't think I have to fight because it's a town. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Whirlwind and delude. I keep spire. Gain whirlwind. Then I have two people with Whirlwind. That would be strange. HP goes way down. But I mean, his attack goes up. His attack and defense, well, his defense goes down. His agility goes way up. His luck goes up a little bit. Ivan loses Bolt. He gains Whirlwind and Delude. You know what? We're gonna do that for now. He keeps Ray, so... What you got? Broadsword. Heavy mace and a hunter's sword. I don't have enough money for any of this. The magic rod, which unleashes milky cloud. And the witch's wand, which unleashes stun voltage. Well, the magic rod is technically better. With its milky cloud. Sell the game ticket, I guess. It only sells for 75. The Water of Life does sell for 2,250 gold. Which would definitely be enough to get some stuff. Do you have any ar armor artifacts? No. Travel robe. Open helm. Wooden cap. There's better stuff to buy armor-wise, too. Leather armor. Bronze shield. Caps are quite a bit better. The open helms are also quite a bit better. Leather armlet. Quite a bit better. I just need... I need lots of money. 
I need lots and lots of money. I think I'm gonna make the silly choice and buy the magic round. That's what I'm gonna buy. I could sell my nuts. They lowered how much they sell for. These used to sell for 150. They now only sell for 90. I mean, I could sell the water of life too, though. That's also a definitely an option. But. Do -do 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 -do. That is whirlwind. That's not what I wanted to cast. Isaac got a nut. The lumber I ordered from Kalima disappeared after the incident. Are you telling me I am responsible for this? No. That curse of the tree spirit is a foolish old superstition. I just want to live in a big palace. If all this trouble was caused by the sacred tree, then all we have to do is cut the tree down! Wow, lady. If things like this are going to keep happening, maybe we should stop building that palace. Have you seen the barricade we built on the road to Kalima? No. It's off to the east. If you want to see it, it was a rush job, so I had to take some shortcuts. I'm glad I didn't know Kalima was involved in that incident. If I had, I wouldn't have done it no matter what. Isaac peered in the well. Upon closer inspection, it seems the well is dried up. Lord McCoy is so upset about this curse, he can't even eat. The Lord will only meet, the, meet with brave and mighty warriors. You don't seem the type. Think you're up to it? No. Your honesty is good. But I can't send such an experienced children to see my lord. Hmm, I see. You seem pretty confident. What do you say? They look, they look a little young to get involved in this ugly mess. Nobody else seems to be up to the challenge, though. What do we have to lose? Alright. Ash, let you pass. Follow me. In we go! This is completely optional. You do not at all ever have to come to the McCoy Palace. You can skip this whole thing, but then you miss you miss some storyline if you do that. And a smoke bomb. Because <laughs> that's useful. It technically could be, actually, but... I don't know how much harder this game is, so I don't know if it'll ever be actually good. What do you think? These are Bilbert's great treasures. Whoever ends the curse can claim these as his own. Nice. If you want to see Lord McCoy, follow the red coffin. Well, then I won't do that. I have barrels to check. Which barrel did I check? Hmm. Seems that the curse of the tree has not yet come to build them. Gleam of Forest used to be so green. Once the holy tree was cut down, everything began to turn brown. Is Kalima Force dying? Uh oh. Isaac got an elixir. Make sure you don't offend Lord McCoy. They should never have let such young children into the palace. I'll be the one to get yelled at if they break an urn or something. Oh, are you willing to go to Kalima Forest? No. You don't look too strong, but that may be for the best. Sending these children to Kalima Forest? Do they want more people to suffer the curse? We'll be fine, lady. Don't worry about it. 
You can see Kalima pretty well from here on sunny days, so McCoy comes here to admire the view. Does he not? He seems like he's pretty upset right now. I don't think he probably does that right now. Just saying. This is Lady McCoy's room, so don't touch anything. Well, I'll touch everything. Milady was renowned far and wide for her beauty. That's why my lord is so anxious to please her, regardless of cost. Will I ever find someone to make my dreams come true like my lady did? Uh, maybe. Oh, someday I want to sleep in a silk nightgown like this. Oh no, this nightgown has a hole. My lady will be furious. There's a silk. Isaac peeked into the wardrobe. There's a silk negligee? What's a negligee? Hold on, I don't know what that is. I need to know. What did Isaac find? Google. What's a negligee? A nightgown. Why is it called a negligee? Referred to a long necklace. It originally referred to a long necklace of, of irregular beads or coral. It was so named because of this random collection of trinkets became assembled out of a carelessness or negligence. Eventually, eventually Negligi came to denote a similarly casual garment, often made of soft, of soft, delicate fiber. Isaac, put that back! <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, Isaac. Learn a new word. Isaac searched the bookcase. There's a sheet of paper titled, Sweetie's Gifts. It's the list of gifts Lord McCoy has bought his wife. It's pretty long. What's the matter then? Sir, some new warriors have just, have just arrived in the palace. New warriors, you say? We've sent many men into into Kalima Forest, but not one has returned. These warriors, did you get a good look at them? Come closer, laddie. Hey, are these the ones you're talking about? But the children. I and you expect me to believe that ye could save Kalima? No. Ah, you're too young. You can't handle the job. You can leave now. Okay, bye. <laughs> what is it? You've come with a change of heart. You want to help Kalima? Yep. Hmm. Well, I'll grant you a brave lot. Here, this key will get you past the better kids to the east. Even with this key, such wee lads as yourselves never re will never reach Kolima. He's making fun of us, calling us children. It's just irritating, don't you think, Isaac? No. Are you serious, Isaac? It doesn't bother you? No. Well, don't let him get to you. We'll just have to prove we can we can handle this job, whatever it is. He's not getting to me. It's fine. So, you've decided to accept our little job. Hey, Ivan. You don't look too enthusiastic. That curse can turn a man into a tree. Yes, you still think we stand a chance? What? Yeah, of course we do. You know we do, right, Isaac? No. Come on, Isaac, you said you'd do it. We're still going, right? <laughs> no. Come on, Isaac, you said we'd do it. We're still going, right? <laughs> no. Okay, fine, yeah, I guess we're going. Well, if Isaac's going, I guess I'm in too. At least we all agree on something. What troubles you, my lord? They seem willing enough. They call themselves warriors, but... 
the not but we children. I... These are desperate times, but I cannot send such wee lads to the doom. What? The, what will happen to Kalima Forest? We cannot give up hope on our other champions. But... But what about us? We cannot send you to, into certain doom. What if we said that we were going east anyway? You can go once things have settled down. But that means you're not going to let us go. Eh, it's for your own good, lad. I didn't want to talk about it anymore. Captain? I'm sorry, but you should leave now. Your name was Isaac? I'm sorry you were rejected. I never ever expected anything like this to happen in Hill to Bilbin. Will you promise me you won't go to Kalima? No. You are persistent, aren't you? That barricade. You may not need a key. Oops, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, I'm going to go now. Alright. Thanks for the info, dude. I hear a large group crossed over Goma Range heading toward Imu. You must be mad. It's almost winter and you're going to Imu? So let's see. Do I want to do early Mia or not? Do I do early Mia, or do we go to where you're supposed to go first? That is the question. Let's try early. Let's try for early Mia. Let's 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 try it. We just got all the information about going to Kalima. You're supposed to go to Kalima now. That is what we're supposed to do. But I'm not going to. As ridiculous as it seems. It was like, fuck this. Oh, get get Milky Cloud. Oh, he's asleep now, too. He is in trouble. <laughs> Here, it's a level five page. Wait, what? 
is there nothing? There's nothing here? I thought there was a treasure up here. Oh, there's a drop down right there. I'm dumb. I couldn't see that for some reason. Um. Oh. Yeah, there we go. The Elven Rapier. That's what I thought, is that there was a, a cool sword up here. Alicia's Bulbul Slash! It's better than his murky, but it's also basically better than the Battle Axe. Isaac goes down. Alright, so, so much for fucking going here first. Holy crap. Yep, that's that. So we can sell the battle axe. Oh god. <laughs> Don't go that way first. Wow. That was rough. We definitely need to be more powerful to go that way. Definitely. I have I've gone to early gone up there and gotten Mia early several times, but apparently we're just not doing that this time. That was very clear. That is just gonna just murder us. Bilbin Barricade. Serious off limits to all those without a permit. Lord McCoy. Looks like this. There's a tree that looks like a person. They're so heavy. Oh, yeah, and if you go up there north first and then you come through here, this these people have all been knocked around. And you can save, you have to save one of the trees. Because, really, you you do and can go there first. It's like 
part of the game is that you can go up, you can go up there and get Mia before you come and do the trees and save Col and save Golden. Oh, they're both defending. What douches? Ivan's a level six disciple. Is there one over here? I don't remember. I don't think so, actually. I think you're weak to fire. Which I don't have with this current setup. Stop defending, man. I don't think they're... I'm going to fight one more fight out here, but I don't think that... Yeah. I don't think there's one over there. Yeah, there's Kalima Forest. That might be the town, actually. The forest. What's the matter, Ivan? That sparkly stuff on the ground. What is it? That. Ah, what's happening? My mind. Someone is attacking my. Something's falling from the sky! It's sparkling. Could this be what turned those people into? We've got to get out of here! I can't... I can't move! It's okay. I got a little blue shields. to us did that that barrier did it save us no no i i think garrett is right I, I think i know what those domes were it was our synergy what are you crazy i didn't use any synergy hey i can stand I can move again. I haven't. It's okay. Go ahead. Stand up. Wait, what? Huh? Those barriers. We thought that synergy was only when we concentrate, right? No. You're such a liar, Isaac. When I was training, I focused so hard, I thought my head would burst. Well, Maybe it's just easier for you, but when I use Synergy... Anyway, I'm certain that was Synergy we were projecting. That must mean that some Synergy acts only when it's needed. You mean like, when we're in danger? I think it's like when we strike critical hits in battle. <laughs> we can't control it, but it's there when we need it. I can agree with what Garrett is saying. It's definitely possible. Wouldn't it be cool if we could use this power at any time, Isaac? No. You... You're not really into this, are you? <laughs> Watch out! It's happening again! Why? Why don't they turn into trees? 
I need them to be trees. Who are they? What people are these who are immune to Trett's glamour? Have they come to save the village with their strange powers? It will be not be enough to save the people of Kalima. They have earned their fate! Kalima took their axes to me, and now I shall take mine to them! You children may not- Oh, you children may not know this, but we are dying. And Kalima Forest will wither and die when we are gone. We are not the only ones who will die, Laurel. Once we are gone, they too will go. Fret was once a kindly forest king, but he is slowly dying, and his heart has torn in two. His wrathful side turned the people of Kalima into trees. The kind Tret speaks no more. Oh, the kindly heart invites destruction. I need no kindness. If you wish to save those Tret turned into trees, you must reawaken his gentle side. But if you cannot stop Tret from withering, we all will. Look for Tret deep within the forest. There's no use, Laurel. Humans cannot be trusted. I shall die, and the rest of the forest will die with me. Isaac, isn't there anything we can do? No. You're right, Isaac. There isn't much we can do now. So, the people of Kalima will just remain trees until they wither and die? No. That's a relief, Isaac. I thought you'd given up on Kalima altogether. But what can we do? How can we bring back the good Tret and save Kalima? I really don't have any idea right now. But I don't know just yet, but I'm sure we'll think of something. Well, let's get on with it. So we actually can't do this yet. Um, even if we went and we could go do the whole dungeon and fight Tret. That would ha that we can do. Um, what we can't do is save Kalima. There's liter we literally just cannot do that. Um, we would do the whole dungeon only to have to do it again later. So I'm just gonna not do it at all right now. Even though it would be a good source of experience and it's probably easier than going north. Um, I'm just gonna get some experience out here. We'll gain a, gain a couple levels probably. Maybe one. Really, we're more uh, fighting for money right now than I am anything else. Because we need money for new equipment. If I got new equipment, we'd be pretty much fine. If I could speak, I'd tell them this is Kalima, village of lumberjacks. So we actually already know about the whole these people are trees thing. So um, we don't actually get surprised by it. If you haven't learned about the people being trees yet, then when you mind read one of these people, um, Ivan will be all surprised about it and tell the whole team like, these people are, ac these trees are actually people. So it's, it's interesting how many different like flags there are for storyline stuff to happen in this game. This is sacred trees curse. Why didn't they- why did they try to cut down Tret? How could anyone turn a girl as beautiful as me into a tree? Oh. Actually, I'm pretty cute for a tree. <laughs> yeah? It's a dream. It has to be a dream. Isaac checked the jar. Isaac got an herb. Isaac checked the jar. Isaac didn't find anything. Isaac checked the barrel. It didn't find anything. Soon, all of Kalima will be nothing but forest. I don't remember if we can get to that without having saved the town. Being unable to move is so inconvenient. Jars everywhere. Oh, 
That one's got an apple. Nice. Right, you just go into the back of this tree. That, that's right. I remember now. And if we head down here... Oh, hey, there's combat. Nice. I like combat. Unleash Gust! I don't know why he didn't die especially. Nice verbal slash. This will certainly help, to be honest. This this will be a big, big boon. Oh, it's granite too? Oh man. Yeah, that's gonna be a really big help. Alright, so with that, we can now start doing the class system even better. I can with two Jin, you can actually make special classes. So now I can make him into a brute. Or a ruffian, rather, which is level two brute. Um, I could pass this over here, and with two earth, he could become a uh, hospex or something along those lines. Which I guess doesn't give us any new spells yet, but <laughs> okay. So I, I need more than more than two to do anything really interesting. But we basically have the level two earth class. Is what matters also granite is just really good that's one of the better one of the better defensive gin in the entire game because if i if i unleash granite it creates for that round it's not it's not like the whole fight but for that round we gain a protective aura makes physical attacks I think it's only physical attacks with granite do like nothing it barely hurt at all which sure only that round but that round may be in fact all we really need Also now have access to this. Big bad level two earth summon. Neither of them reset, Alan. Oh well. Yeah. 
bats are weak to earth? Okay, weird, but sure. Ow. Ow. Bang! Six card. All right. How much money do I have? Not very much. Only 398 coins. It's not really what I would call enough. <laughs> oh, Cosmo, someone must have tried to cut the tree down. Yeah, that's right. You can't use the inn in this town while the while the people are trees. I tried to run away, but there was no escape. Got him. 34 experience points. We already fought on this little island, and there was nothing here, and I already know that. Ba ba da ba da ba 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 da ba da. I think I can one round this fight, probably. With this Ramses, just boom, should kill both the bats. Yeah. And then maybe the Mars on the on him will be enough, but maybe not. Oh, it was. That fight was worth almost nothing now. Tons of my resources is what that fight was worth. Tons of my resources. Let's head back to the town. I'm gonna need to. Re I need to recover, kind of, anyways. So, I mean, I guess I'm okay to sit out here and fight a little bit more. Flashbolt. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go explore the overworld a little bit more. I'm pretty sure there's no gin out here, but... Attack with a lightning bolt. How 
much does that do? Great. That's like the whole point of having even fought this battle now. They just ran away. The rest of that, the two bats were like garbage. Yeah, there's nothing. This is not one of the zones where there's an overworld gin. There are overworld gin that you can find. I think we all have Jupiter weapons. <laughs> I think every weapon I have is wind. That's kind of unfortunate, really, but... 21 coins. Uh, kind of an expensive in, don't you think? Considering that a standard fight gives, like, 50 coins at most. How much do I have? 542. Alright. Ask me anything about armor. Alright, why is it so expensive? Can you tell me that, asswipe? <laughs> Apple's 375. It's. It's really, it's really tempting right now to sell this Water of Life so that like, I can just buy all the better armor I need. Leather armor is a, like a nine difference? No, not quite. It's better by eight. Bronze shield is better by the same amount. Yeah, the same amount for both characters. For some reason, it's a little less for Isaac. I don't know why. The open helm is the same amount. And the wooden cap is only better for him by three. Okay, so with that in mind, the open helm is probably the correct buy because it is the cheapest, and it's the same upgrade. But now I can't afford another item, which there's the leather armlet, which is also only better for him by three. So his upgrades are only better by three. All of them are only better by three. Okay, well I could sell a game ticket and then that'll let me get one of them at least. Nice six attack power. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to sell that water of life? gonna I think I'm just gonna go for it again and see how how we hold up Ooh, 
I think that having granite will be very, very useful. And if we don't, if we don't get like surprised this time and just get murdered by a huge freaking fight. Cause that fight last time was also like really mean. It was a really big fight. So here's a little bit of that example of being able to do plan to do something that I don't actually have the resources for yet. Like, I didn't have enough to summon Ramses, but I knew that by the time it became Garrett's turn, I would. So because of that. I planned for it, and now Garrett can summon Ramses this turn. It's something that this game lets you do that I find really, really cool. And not very many JRPGs let you do that. Like, if you don't have enough MP to cast a spell, it typically won't even let you choose it, right? But this game does. You can plan ahead for the fact that you're going to have enough when it's your turn. And it's it's really neat in that regard. I, I've always really liked that about this game. It lets it be really tactical, even though it's, you know, sometimes sort of not. I did two damage with that attack. Two whole damage. 107 experience points. Definitely a step up from where I was. How much is for sure. A nut. Scary. Starburst.
Back with a massive explosion. Awesome. Do it. What's up, doggo? You need to go outside? In the potty? You'll probably be okay for a little bit. I know, it's me, but you probably will be. A vial? Those are really, really good. Those are likely to be close to full HP the entire game. Flash bolt! Oh, no, Ward! No! No, he ran! <laughs> he gave him defense and then he ran away! No! Poor dude! That sucked to be that guy. <laughs> God, big giant grizzly bears. Ow! Ow! That was through granite. Wow! That's the problem. Good, one of them died. Oof! Oh my god. Oh! It's so rough. <gasps> Where's the town? Fourteen whole damage. How oh, great. You have to recover HP on every on every turn. D do you have to? Could you just not? Maybe. Got one. Nice. Got another one. Also nice. Starburst scene. Probably not useful, but hey. I saw the town. Oh god. Oh 
dear lord. <clears throat> Ow. Master the bolt user's plasma. There we go. We finally have plasma. It's very important for getting this. I'm freezing. This is not here yet. Miss here, man. Who is she? I was so cold. I was so cold. Whoa! 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 Okay. Whoa! Why is there a Mars Gin here? I don't know, but there is a Mars Gin here. Got Fever. Fever lets you attack. Also lets you learn Guard. That's good. That's so, that's so good. Do you have anything cool as an Acolyte? Volcano. Volcano! That's all single target. Oh, no, Ray isn't. I was gonna say, that's all single target spells, but it's it's actually not. Volcano! Oh, I can't, unless that one sets. <laughs> oh well. Do -do -do. Isaac got a vial. Well, Isaac can keep that vial. Even though Isaac might sell that vial, Isaac can keep that vial. Examine the grave. I didn't find anything. Yes, we are grave robbers now. <laughs> oh my god, grave. Examining graves is difficult because your character wants to walk around them. Didn't find anything. Didn't find them. Pretty sure one of these graves does have something. Yeah. What was that? Pretty sure one of them has a lucky metal or something like that. It does. <laughs> the epidemic has hit almost everyone in Nimble. I'm too sick. What would happen to us if we didn't have beer? No. We gotta find Mia. She's in town somewhere. Here somewhere. There she is. Oh god, that's right, you can't even buy shit here because everybody's sick. Can't get a sleep bomb though. That's good. Roll enemies to sleep. You can have that. Isaac checked the barrel, but didn't find anything. Isaac checked the barrel, but didn't find anything. Checked the wooden box, but didn't find anything. Hello. Mom's sick, but I can get you whatever you need. Welcome, we have just the gear you need. Are you looking for rarities? This is the best I have to offer. What would you like? Oh, I forgot that whenever you sell game tickets, you can buy them back. What? That's new.
Horn's new. That's a new item. 100 HP, huh? It's fairly useful, really. I could sell most of my herbs and buy some corn instead. One coin is forty, though. Okay. Uh, I'll keep the herbs because we can use the herbs to heal instead of PP when we're in the lighthouse. One, two, three, four. I tend to stay indoors a lot when the weather turns cold. It's not good for your health, though, so I try to work out. Hi, are you new to ammo? I should warn you, there's a bad cold going around right now. Try not to catch it. No. You don't look familiar. Are you sure you're not Finny? I've had a lot of strangers lately. I wonder if they're going to Mercury Lighthouse, too. Two? Who also went to Mercury Lighthouse? We're the only inn that stays open in winter, since guests are so few. We'll wait on you wait on you hand and foot, so please stay away. Winters are tough here, so I'm glad to have guests to talk to. I'm going to give them the best service I can. You wanna see the restaurant menu? No. Tonight's dinner is stew and rye bread. Sounds like quite a feast, huh? I said no. I don't wanna see you. Please enjoy your stay. So the biggest problem is that if I want to go buy better gear so that I have a better chance, I have to go all the way back. Which would be kind of rough. There's been an epidemic going around Nimble. You should leave right away if you don't want to catch it. I just got an empty bottle. That's extremely important. Oh, help me! Gr Grandpa! Grandpa, hold on! Oh no, this is terrible. Get Mia. Please, get Mia. Why would that old lady refer to what is probably her husband as... Grandpa? Have you visited the old couple who live near the entrance of town? Nope! Mia went to their house. You might have seen her if you stopped there. Ah, shit. <laughs> That's where I was going! How are you feeling? <coughs> He's been coughing quite a while now. You'll feel better soon. I'm dying. How do you feel now? Much better. No, Grandpa. You mustn't push yourself too hard. Everybody calls you a grandpa to indicate that you're old. It's like calling you old man. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. I can't imagine how this village would ever manage without you. <laughs> Don't mention it. You should rest in bed too, ma'am. Hmm? Who are you? Can I help you? Whoa! Was that the lighthouse? Can't be. Only I can. Oh no. Alex! And now we need to go to the lighthouse. Now, there is the possibility that I might actually go all the way back to get better gear. But, if I do, I'm not going to do it until after I've gotten Mia in the party. Somebody is here. Someone is here. 
Can you hear it too? No. You can't hear it. Well, I can. Alex is the only one other than I who can enter the Mercury Lighthouse. But the statue is blocking my way. Did you do that? Nope! No, I saw it! I'm certain that flow of force came from you! Oh? You... You could see our synergy? Synergy? Is that what you call that power? We had thought... We had thought you were using synergy when you healed the old man, Leah. That's a special power handed down to members of the Mercury Clan. From generation to generation. It's called Ply. Power generated through meditation. It was once much stronger. This Mercury clan sounds a lot like people of Vale, don't you think? No. Well, come on, both of them are protectors of special powers. It's just the names that are different. I have to go. I have to find whoever entered the lighthouse. I shall apply. open. Okay, bye! Oh. 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 Ah. Boo, boo, ba doo, boo. What a douchebag. Won't let a lady buy. We'll have to show him. Level 8 Squire! Oh, hold, hold on. Don't, don't run in. Where are you going? Come back. Please. Please. He who honors the heart of the goddess shall stand at the center of all. Like a swan in the center of a rippling pond. Oh. The path is blocked again. What am I going to do? The statue wasn't here before. I wonder if Alex... No, Alex wouldn't do that. But what if he's not alone? saved me again, haven't you? Uh-huh. Do you have business in the lighthouse, too? Nope. <laughs> Please tell me the truth. Can't believe you'd go so far just to, to help someone you just met. You have some errands in this lighthouse, don't you? No. Please tell me the truth. Nah. Please don't hide anything. Just tell me the truth. No. I refuse. Just tell me the truth. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep lying. No, lady. I'm a liar and I'm habitual and I'm not gonna tell you the truth. I refuse. No, I don't want to do it. Fine, I'll tell you the truth. I thought so. She's. Ba I basically, even if I didn't have business in the White House, I have to tell her that I do. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure there will be more places ahead I cannot pass alone. Only one of the only those of the Mercury clan have permitted to enter this place. However, I said something special about you. I feel that I can trust you. Mia, join the party! Yeah! Alright, we now have Mia. Hooray! What does that mean? We have. A water gin! Fizz! Effective unleashing to battle, it recovers our 
we can start playing around with water now if we want to. Which, swapping them makes them both students, actually, so it makes them the same. He becomes an armed with fire, douse, and ply. And she gets douse, drench, prism, volcano, and ply. She loses cure poison, frost, tundra, and ice. I become a soul. It's Gaia and Froth and Cure and Restore and Cure Poison keeps Cure Poison. Isaac gains Thorn and Cure Poison, but loses all of his all of his other Earth spells. No, oh, she just stays an Herbalist. Doesn't change her class at all. Oh no, she became a Naturalist. Is Naturalist to do anything different from Herbalist? Apparently not. Right, that's that one. A monk. To a hermit. Right, I remember the hermit class. Hermit just gets guarded here. Douse and ply. It's not actually bad. I don't remember this class. I don't think this class was in the game originally. I thought he became a swordsman when he got water as well. Just like Isaac does. see their, like, powers? Yeah. Her earth power is an 87. Or her fire power is an 87. With two Jin. Two Jinny. And the seven in earth? Yeah, so they, they start with level five in their basic in their their specific element she's level five in water just by being water <coughs> does she still have a fly yeah so it gives me two people with fly and it gives her douse no frost though so i wouldn't be able to frost go with it for a little while. Isaac got a side crystal. Holy moly. What, what level is she? Oh god, level 10. <laughs> So she's a level that's also known as much higher than the rest of my party. <laughs> oh well. It's fine. Apparently this is a big puzzle room where they don't we don't fight. Because puzzle room.
Giant ice pot. I'll just hit him. Hit him with a dose. We'll just douse him. Forty damage. Ow. Thirty-two damage. a long ways to push the statue. Go, statue! Honors the heart of the goddess shall stand at the center of all, like a swan in the center of a rippling pond. This lets you do this now. Now we have. Three, we have a number of water jumps. I guess I should have probably healed. That's okay. Whole damage. God. Oh god! This could be bad. I'm gonna grant it up. This is 
really bad. Okay, that's honestly all right. I'm okay with that. Oh, that's not good, though. That's not, that's not good. That's, that's real bad. That's real bad. That's, that's bad. That's a bad. their corns. Isaac, I haven't used the corn. <laughs> nice. This fucking thing will not die. thousand coins how much is it gonna cost me to get everybody back up a lot Oof. a lot all right well Definitely harder. The reloaded version of this game is definitely. This is definitely harder. Alright. Um. I need to use the N. 
We have like no BB. That's rough. That mimic was rough as fuck. I don't know how much HP it had left, but I imagine it was close to death. I need to get better. I need to go buy more gear. And that's gonna mean a little bit of, a little bit of extra grinding and then A little bit of extra grinding, probably, and definitely uh, going back through the cave, at the very least. Because we need some better equipment. But I'm getting really hungry, so I think that what I'll probably do is I will probably I might do some of the some of this extra grinding and um, for the money to buy the extra gear I might do a lot uh, some of it off stream um, and because I want to get some food here so I could I'm gonna thinking about quitting stream maybe quitting playing this for a little bit and then oh hey level up. 160 coins though. So maybe if I grinded that money up here, it actually wouldn't take that long. Probably wouldn't. But then I have to be wary of bears murdering me. Because that's that's a problem for, for the ages. Um is that bears will murder you. Bear murder. Did you have to? Asswipe? Is Flint still not set? Oh. My bad. I mean, I guess bears aren't worth that much money, though, huh? Is so, so much more higher. That's <laughs> the thing too. Is like I should be closer to her level. I should be like level ten. So I am. I am under level as it stands. Which turns out to be hard. Now it is very hard to be under leveled now. It was not this hard to be under leveled before. I'll tell you that. All right, so there's a little bit of extra like stuff that we can do in Bilbin Cave now though too, um, because we now have frost. Well, there's a fire here. Can I douse this fire? Make it go away. Yes, sure can. Your ward is slightly too low. See, now that we've got four people, like, this whole thing has, like, changed its tune, like, completely. Plasma and drenching. Oh, the ghoul's weak to. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
not judge does so much damage. Let's see, how would I even go about getting up there? Is there a reason to do that? I don't think so. Attack first! Alright, come out. I don't think there is a reason to do that. Unless I can get up there, up there. I don't know that you can. Squire, level 9 Bolt user. Why am I a Squire right now? There we go, now I'm a Knight. Whoa! The enemies changed drastically from one room to the next. Prism! Interesting that trolls aren't weak to fire. Trolls are like always weak to fire. The trolls in this world are very much not, though. It's very strange. I believe they're weak to wind. A whole bunch of money going through that cave that like that. It's like I said, maybe this grinding won't actually take as long as I think it will. Like just going back through the cave got me all that money, and then I have to go back again, so. That fight didn't stand a chance. Neither does this one, actually. at the end see what we can buy probably call it for there and i'm gonna go get some food because 
I've done that whole thing where I haven't eaten. <laughs> you know, that whole thing that I do sometimes where I, I don't ever eat food on the weekends because I want to do other things. Yeah, that. Did that. <laughs> oh, it's so much better than the bandit sword. Oh, it's so expensive. than we need anything else. Okay, she has leather armlets. Does she have a wooden cap? Yes. So she already has a travel robe too, right? Alright, so she's got every all the best armor for this place. So I should have all the best armor for this place by now. That's just something I should have. Alright, bronze shields are the next cheapest thing to buy. And they are also eight defense increases, so... by the bronze shields. I'll buy the leather armor. And I think I'll love it. get him one of his because he has low defense. I already got him the travel robe. I can get him the wooden cap, so I should do that. Okay, so now the only thing I don't have is the leather armor for Garrett. And obviously the big broadsword for Garrett. I don't have that either. Which I could probably sell enough stuff to get the leather armor for Garrett. Because I could probably, like, sell a vial. We could sell the side crystal. That'd get us tons of money. It's not a bad idea, actually. Do not want to sell that. You can, but don't do it. It's a bad idea. You need that. Uh, I'm really hesitant to sell my, my good items. fact that he has the broad that that he's still got doesn't have that broadsword I think we're gonna be getting that broadsword when we come back I don't think I'm gonna get it right now I think that's just where we're gonna stand I think I'm gonna be able to do I should be able to do this with what I got there like that's a, a large amount of defense boost boost like before I did that we all had less defense than her now I, Isaac maybe had like close to her defense, but now we both gone up by 16 and I raised Ivan's by 36, which is not a lot, but some. And we might, like, level up on the way back there, too, so. But, like I said, I'm going to quit here. Um, so when we come back, we will be challenging uh, Mercury Lighthouse is what we'll end up be doing. Look, the fight that murdered me. Um, I guess we're going to murder this fight because I can't stop playing the video game because I enjoy this video game a lot. Um, and then I will, I, I promise, I promise I will quit then. <laughs> I promise, I think, 
I promise. I will. I'll go get some boots, because it sounds kind of like a good idea. I don't know what I want to eat, though. That's the part that I'm not sure about. I have burger in there, so I could make something. I could make some foods. But that's what I have to do, is cook foods. Slash him! Your slash did not kill him. Uh, level 9 armed. Good job. He's level 9. Are we all level 9? 9, 9, 9, nine 10. Only 126 more experience points before she's a level 11. Though. So that should be good. Alright. When we come back, probably Silent Hill 3. I don't think I'm going to play anything more that I will stream. Unless I stream my VR stuff, I might. But I don't think I will. I think if I play VR, I'll just play VR. Um, so, take it easy, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Like I said, it should be Silent Hill 3 um, this evening. That's, that's probably when I'll stream next. Bye.